Cause you don't need no approval All right, check, check one, two, all right Welcome to all the grads of Bishop Grandin, their family, their friends, their pets. You know, I didn't even have to say anything and you start bopping your horns. This is beautiful. This is beautiful. We're going to get started shortly here, but we do have to test a few things out. My name is Mike Shepard, by the way. I'm a local native Calgarian who, uh, who's honored to be here today to try to help with you folks. If you can't hear me, you haven't turned on your radio to 89.3 FM as of yet. Please do so. Now, we're going to get you here because we're going to have a lot of fun. In the first couple of cars, you know, there's not everybody's going to be in here yet. So it's not going to be as noisy. So we're going to need you to make a lot of noise for us. And you can do that by whooping, hollering, climbing outside of your sunroofs, and most importantly, honking. So let's do a little test honk. If you can hear my voice, even if you're in the cars in the lineup, on the count of three, one, two, three. Oh, it's like being at a wedding. It's beautiful, isn't it? All right. And they also tell me, because we are live streaming this, by the way, ladies and gentlemen, at www uh, drive through can't even say drive through grad 2020com is if you flash your high beams when the students are coming across here, it looks really, really cool on the live feed. So remember that when we come close to doing that. Now, when we start doing things, I'm going to move on down over to the side stage over here. And uh, we'll start not, not calling out people's names. They'll get a chance to come on out front. The parents' car will be right in front here. Once we got there, we'll send them up, call up their name, give you a chance to have a little walk on the catwalk, maybe do some poses here and there, you know, that kind of thing. We're going to have a wonderful time here today. And I think we're just about ready. They're starting to move some of the vehicles up front here. All right. Because we're here for a good time, not a long time. We may have been knocked down this year, but we got knocked, we got right back up again. All right, I think we're getting ready for the first trip. Telling me who I'm supposed to be. Way too good at camouflage. Can't see what I am, I just see what You know, there's been a lot of graduations in the past, but this is the first time there's been a drive through graduation. You're all making history here today. All right, I think we're just about ready. Yeah, of course, come see, come see. Well, let's play a little bit more with the horns here. You know, can we get that uh, that Queen song kind of set up here? All right, we're going to see if you guys can match the sounds of your horns to this classic Queen song of We Are the Champions, all right? We will rock you, all right? He's just going to get it set up. We're going to our DJ get it set up here. So when you hear the drum start going, let's see you do it with your horns as well. Honk, honk. Oh, that's beautiful. Beautiful. That is awesome. Yes! I can't wait to see what everybody's wearing here today. I'm sure there's going to be some wonderful, wonderful outfits. Oh, they got it. They got it. If you're just tuning in and just getting in here, if you're wondering what's going on, we're just warming up so we can get everybody properly celebrated here today at this very unique grad. Now, let's see some of the flashing of the high beams going on here. Let's see what that looks like. Oh, that is so, so hot. That's wonderful. All right. If you've got grandparents in the vehicle, bump your horns. If you've got children in your vehicle, bump your horns. All right. If you have a pet in your vehicle, bump your horns. If you've got fast food in your vehicle, bump your horns. All right, good, good. All right, I think we're just about ready. Just waiting for the signal. All 
All right. We're about ready to go with our first graduate. Get ready to make some noise, ladies and gentlemen. He's looking pretty snazzy. All right. In the immortal words of Pink, let's get this graduation started, this party started. Ladies and gentlemen, put your horns together. You can start moving up onto the stage now. Thomas Wong. Oh, yeah. Striking a pose for the family. That's right, you can clap for yourself. You made it through. All right. All right, there we go. Let's put our hands together on our horns for him one more time. Coming up next, ladies and gentlemen, put your horns together for Gracie Murphy. There's a proud mom right there. That was great to see everybody. Ladies and gentlemen, you saw this man in the hallways. He might owe you $5. Here he is here right now, ladies and gentlemen, your latest grad, Luke Huey. Just letting the parents get out there first. Sending somebody out to take a photo. It's a big car. They're trying to figure out how to put it in park. All right. This is the kind of car that would have been really good at a drive in. You could have snuck three people in the trunk. Look at them getting the side shots in there as well. One more honk of the horn for Huey, everybody. Okay. There we go. We're just going to wait for this car to pull forward here. Building the anticipation for our next graduate from Bishop Grandin High School. All right. He's pulling forward a little bit here, so we get the next person up. All right. Now they're moving forward. Ladies and gentlemen, let's make some noise for Jaden Brassic. Big thumbs up from Boy, look at the smile on mom's face. That's awesome. All right. It's nice to see so many vehicles with some balloons and stuff tied down, especially on a windy day like today. All right. Wait till mom gets into position there. All right. Coming up to the stage right now, ladies and gentlemen, we've got I just, Emily Krasinowski. She's got the formal black on red look going on. Haters. Let her get off the stage there. All right, our next photographer is taking her spot right then and there. She's all set up to take a flurry of pictures here for you. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, coming to the stage right now, Allie Hayhurst.
got the whole paparazzi thing going on in the vehicle here. Here comes your next contestant for drive through grad drive through graduation. All right. They're getting all set up to take some beautiful pictures here. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the stage, Marcus Renderos. Okay, here we go. Everybody's all set up. Okay, the camera's all set and ready to go. Vehicle's getting into place. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands and your horns together for Lauren Danzero. The one, the only. All right, we'll wait for everybody to get set up. All right, here we go. Without further ado, you've been waiting for him all line up, Mason Lowen. Ladies and gentlemen, coming up, we got, oh, here she comes, Trinity Sundar Singh. Paparazzi shooting through the roof. Slipping out of the expedition right now. Oh, not quite. They forgot to let her out. That happens sometimes. You get a little nervous. It's a big day. They go to take a picture. So, oh, we haven't let her out yet. All right, here she comes. Ladies and gentlemen, coming to the stage right now, we got Alessia Medina. Yes, embrace the world. There we go. Everybody's getting all set up. Now, who's you got taken? They gotta get them to catch up, okay. Now she knows which vehicle to go back to because her picture and her name with class of 2020 is right on the side of this Ford 150. All right, I think we're all lined up. They're ready to take the pictures. Paparazzi leaning out of the vehicle. Ladies and gentlemen, put your horns and flash your lights for Rebecca Taylor. All right, looks like we've almost got everybody else set up. Mom put on some classic heels to get that better shot. All right. She's about ready while well, they're pulling out over there. Everybody put your hands and honk your horns for Alina Moore.
All right, coming up next, the one, the only, hitting the stage, ladies and gentlemen, McKenna Golding. She wore sensible footwear for today. All right. We're just going to let things catch up just a touch here. That's right. Keep those horns going. They got the top down. They're taking pictures from the inside. Yeah. All right, here they are. They got a fancy little car getting ready to take some pictures here. And who else for but for the one, the only Danielle Gallant. Tyler. All right, they're getting things all set up, building the anticipation for our next grad. And here he comes, ladies and gentlemen, grads of 2020, Tyler Sloan on the stage. Getting all set up, wearing her own ensemble and some absolutely fantabulous boots. You better get a close up of these when you get up here, folks. Here she comes. Sarah and Sel, everybody. All right. Wait for everything to get all set up. That's right, bump your horns to the time of the music. All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Mom's in place. She's got everything all out. The cars are all set. Shayna Kent. Sorry, Shayla McKenzie, come on up here. Wonderful. We're getting near the end. I know some of these people in these cars, ladies and gentlemen. All right, we're just going to wait for vehicles to get pulled ahead. All right, the Carey family pulling up front here. Ladies and gentlemen, put your horns and flash your lights for Madison Carey! Neck up, coming up. Okay, Dad's got the camera ready. Everybody else is ready? Excellent. All right, ladies and gentlemen, put your horns together for Reese Whalen. She's the one. 
Make it super loud. All right. Now let's put our horns together and make all sorts of noise for the graduating class of 2020 from Bishop Grandin. Yes. Oh, this is beautiful. You, you know, this is a very impressive group of graduations, and it's a very impressive parking lot right now, too. i got to tell you, it looks pretty cool from up here. All right, ladies and gentlemen, once before, as I said before, my name is Mike Shepard, and I'm here as your host here today. And, you know, there's been so many wonderful things going on this year and horrible things, but I like the way that everybody has got this feeling of positivity that's just overflowing on everything. So let's, let's, let's get our horns together one more time for everybody coming up here. Yes! All right. I hope you're all doing well, because, you know, the, the bathrooms aren't even open today. So if you're doing okay, you know, it's, it's all, it should be all good. Now, let, this time, ladies and gentlemen, I, I would like to acknowledge that we are on the tra traditional territories of the people of the Treaty 7 region in southern Alberta, which includes the Blackfoot Confederacy, the Siksika, Pikani, and Kanai First Nations, the Tsutsina First Nation, and the Stony Nakoda, including the Chiniki, Bears Paw, and Wesley First Nations. The city of Calgary is also home to the Métis Nation of Alberta, Region 3. Now here today, set here today, and the reason why I'm mentioning this is because we are right where it takes place, where the Bow River meets the Elva River. And the traditional Blackfoot name of this place is called Mokitsi which we now call the city of Calgary. Let's all put our horns together for, a, for those who first populated this wonderful area. Yes! And just so you didn't already know, if you haven't, if you got friends that are listening to this at home, we do have, uh, you can, we are live streaming this entire drive through Grad 2020 at www.drivethroughgrad2020.com. And if you want to capture some moments today and put it up on, on Facebook or Instagram or any other sort of media, please go hashtag drive through Grad 2020 YYC. And we'll be putting up some pictures and stuff on our, on our uh, Facebook page and also on the website a little bit later on. Now, at this time, it's been such a wonderful time seeing everybody come up here, and not everybody could make it here today for, you know, to be able to see this beautiful thing. We have a lot of people that would really like to be here today, and one of those people is our mayor, and he has a special message here for you. Mayor Nahid Nenshi, ladies and gentlemen. Hi, I'm Nahid Nenshi, Mayor of Calgary, with a special message for the class of 2020. So here we are. This is not the graduation that you dreamed of. It is not what any of us thought would happen to us this year in 2020. I gotta tell you something. We're going through something that no one living today has ever experienced. And we're going through it together as a community here in Calgary and as a community of human beings around the world. And it may feel like times are tough. We're dealing with a global pandemic. We're dealing with really hard questions around racism, around how we live together as a community, around how we govern ourselves. And we're doing all of that at a time when some of us are feeling very isolated and very alone. But you know what else 2020 has been about? And I don't mean murder hornets. 2020 has been about resilience. It's been about rethinking what's important. It's been about reconnecting with our families. You're gonna have a story for the ages. You're gonna tell your grandkids about what happened in 2020 in your senior year. But what you'll tell them is that you very quickly pivoted. You learned how to learn in a brand new way. Your schools and your teachers did exactly the same thing. You were supported by your families and your loved ones and your friends in order to succeed. And this class succeeded like no other. 
So congratulations. Congratulations to everyone in the class of 2020. I can't wait to see what you accomplish next. And now we have another special video message here for you. Enjoy. We've decided to take increasingly aggressive steps to keep you and your family safe. In particular, mass gatherings are a significant source of concern during this pandemic. It's hard, but it's the right thing to do. ladies and gentlemen. All right, at this time we're going to try something a little bit different here. I'm going to uh, call a parent that's in one of the cars here. I'm just going to get a little help from my uh, assistant down here on the stage here. Just having some little technical difficulties here. All right, we're going to talk to Dwayne. Now, Dwayne, bump your horn. What car are you in? Okay, make sure you turn your radio off, please. And then we're going to be talking right through the bottom here. Now, talk nice and loud, Dwayne. Hello? <laughs> Thank you for calling. They're unavailable at this moment. Okay, well, let's call back. This is so exciting and weird. Hello? Hello, is Dwayne there? No, sorry, I think you have the wrong number. <laughs> well, we, we tried, okay, we tried, we tried. He's right here. Oh, he's in the big one, okay. Okay, we're gonna go to the video, I'll come back to you, I'll come back to you. We have a special video here from a bunch of people from the Calgary Hitmen, the Calgary Flames, the Calgary Roughnecks. Enjoy. What is up, 2020 grads? Curtis Dixon here with the Calgary Roughnecks. Hey guys, it's Milan Lucic here from the Calgary Flames. Hi, I'm Carson Folk from the Calgary Hitmen. Hi guys, this is Dave Dickinson, the head coach of the Calgary Stampeders. I've been asked to talk to you guys and congratulate you for being part of the class of 2020. Graduating high school is a huge accomplishment and you should all be very proud. You have something solid underneath you now, something that people treasure and will look at you as that you have worked and you've accomplished a goal. Now figure out what the, the rest of life is gonna hold. What's the next goal? What path do I need to get on in order to get there? I know times have been a little tough this year. I know this isn't exactly the way you thought you'd be celebrating. It's been a crazy, crazy year. So if your path, if your goals are blocked, find a way around them, find a way through them. That's what we're looking for. We love that view from the top. Try to get there. I mean, try to get there, guys. And that's important that you can have to work and find your skills to do it. But um, I really want to just wish you guys the best of luck. You've made the city of Calgary proud, your parents, your, yourselves proud. 
Now go out there and get after it, make the best of it, and congratulations once again on a great job in high school. A huge congratulations from all of us at the Calgary Hitmen. Massive congratulations. I just wanted to congratulate you guys on a big milestone in your lives. Uh, all the best in the future in the next chapter. Um, and stay safe and enjoy what you can with your family and friends. Very nice. All right, we're going to try this again. We're going to try calling Dwayne again. He's sitting right in front of me, <laughs> cracking up inside of there. Here we go. The anticipation is amazing. Hello, sir. Hello, Dwayne. How are you? <laughs> good, and you? Good, good. You know, you're so close, but yet so far away. I <laughs> So here we are, graduation 2020. Not a lot of people thought there was going to be any ceremonies going on, and look what we have here today. Making history. We've done a couple of these before, and i got to tell you, you feel giddy every single time. Now, i got a question here for you. If you had anything to say to the class of 2020, what piece of advice would you give them? Uh, enjoy life. Don't work too hard. Live large. Live large. Live large. All right. Now, from when you graduated so many years ago, <laughs> what was a piece of advice that they gave you that you actually listened to? Uh, same thing. Live large. Don't work too hard. That's it. Okay. Now, i got to ask you this. What was the biggest challenge of living with somebody who's graduating this year? That it shows me how old I am and really getting <laughs> All right, well, let's put our horns together for him here, ladies and gentlemen. A little bit of insight. Thank you so much, Dwayne. Thank you. All right, at this time, we've got a special little short video here put together by the school itself to kind of commemorate what's going on here today. So let's give it a little look-see, shall we? Bishop Grandin High School graduating class of 2020. Well, we did it. We survived high school. Coming out of adolescence, we've grown and matured through our experiences leading to this milestone achievement. Having reached the ending to this chapter in our lives, I think it'd be appropriate to turn back a few pages and remember the first days of high school. It's safe to say most of us were at least a little bit nervous, wondering what our teachers were gonna be like, running to meet familiar faces in the hallways, worrying about how we were going to make friends in this big new place. But after a little while, we adjusted and learned to thrive amongst like-minded peers and create friendships that I'm sure will last a lifetime. After moving past the initial fear of what was to come, we learned to embrace the opportunities ahead of us and made the most of our high school experience. We persevered, and through that perseverance have come to the finish line, graduation. None of this would have been possible if it were not for the will to continue. Every one of our successes has come about because we decided that we wouldn't give up and stuck it out to the end. Even in the midst of seeming failure, there is success. See, I believe that nothing you try hard for, regardless of the outcome, is really a failure. Success doesn't come easy, so anytime you put effort in towards a goal, you're training yourself for success. The true failure is giving up because you resign to adversity and don't learn the courage to continue. We wouldn't be here if we had submitted ourselves to failure and accepted defeat at the hands of difficulty. So let's take what we learned at Bishop Grandin about the true value of giving your all, even when it seems impossible, and burst into the world full of vigor and ready to succeed even in failure. Good fortune will come to those who have the courage to continue on the rocky road ahead of them. So let's not live to regret but to be proud of our failure, because failure is the pillar to success. And on behalf of our success, I'd like to give thanks to those that made them possible. Thank you to the teachers and staff at Bishop Grandin for being there to support us and care for us throughout our high school careers. They offered up their time and energy, always going above and beyond to ensure that we had the tools and resources to get the most out of our experience at Bishop Grandin. Thank you to our parents. Not only have you invested in us with your hard-earned nickels and dimes, but you helped guide us through and put up with all the changes we've gone through on our way to finishing high school. 
Without you being there for us, teaching us valuable life lessons, listening to our troubles, and caring for us so deeply, we would never have turned into the exceptional people we are today. Lastly, thank you in advance, Class of 2020, for becoming the next generation of successes and carrying on a legacy of courage. To always face adversity with a smile, and even after falling down countless times, having the strength to stand up again and continue. Thank you, and remember to seize every opportunity to try your hardest, because regardless of the outcome, you will be a success. Oh yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time we have a very special video that we put together here for you, because we were so proud about coming up, putting this whole thing together, and coming up with this idea that we just wanted to share it with you. Here it is. Hey, feeling good, like I should. When in circle, walk around the neighborhood. Feeling blessed, never stressed. Got that sunshine on my Sunday best. Yeah. Hey, every day can be a better day despite the challenge. All you gotta do is leave it better than you found it. It's gonna get difficult to stand, but hold your balance. I just say whatever, cause there is no way you're bound. Everyone falls down sometimes, but you just gotta know it'll all be fine. It's okay. If you ask your parents what they remember about their grad, what they wore or how they got there, or what anyone even said at their grad, they won't have a clue. No one ever does. But not this time, not your grad. Your parents will remember today. Your friends will remember today. And you will remember today. You'll even remember the car you took to get here because you drove the car right to the stage, then walked across this stage in front of your car, then got back in your car and watched everyone else do the same from their car while you sat in your car. So, where does that leave you? It leaves you with the chance to go from a grad that no one has experienced before to a life no one has lived before. You get to choose what really is essential. What does the world really need and who do I really want to be in it? Because clearly the world needs you. Choose to help because we need it. Choose to lead because we need leaders. Choose to be courageous because this is a time that calls for courage. And someday, some of you might have kids. And someday, those kids will graduate high school. And they'll say to you, do you even remember your grad? And you'll pull out a picture of a parking lot. And you'll say, yes, I do. That was the year everything changed. It was the start of something great. And I, I was right there in the middle of it. Let's drive our cars into the future. Congratulations, class of 2020, the class that started it all, the class that no one will ever forget.